ESPN, Sky, NFL, all of these companies have one thing in common. They've previously used Singular.Live's overlay system in order to get professional looking overlays on their live broadcasts. Now, this company has gone out of their way and created a fantastic tools for creators, streamers, etc. called Overlays.Uno. And in this quick sponsored guide, I'll be taking you from zero to hero on getting started with their hundreds of free overlays that you can use right away on streams, recordings, etc. With you're on PC, mobile, or anything like that, these responsive overlays are super high quality and a fantastic tool to work with. Not only can you control them from your browser, but you can even control them from your phone or a different device and even dock them into OBS Studio or put them onto a stream deck in order to get even more control. So without further ado, let's get going. How did I do the intro? Well, it's this over here. I have two different overlays. The first one was this one with the text at the bottom and a live rug at the top, which is this bit of information. And on the far right, I had the social lower loop, which is pretty useful. All you need to do is pick yourself a template, fill in some basic information about what you want showing, and you can customize things like the color, loop duration, speed, etc., and drop them straight into OBS or whatever you're using to get started. As these are just browser windows, anything that supports a browser window can utilize the pretty much unlimited power that Overlays.Uno offers. And best of all, I didn't even need to log in. Everything on the site is completely 100% free to use for now and for pretty much as long as you want. The only reason you might want to create an account is that you can favorite different overlays and upload images to use in them. Other than that, you can try everything without even needing to sign up. These overlays go from simple to super advanced. On the far left, you'll find library, where you can see hundreds of different overlays, mostly around sports such as scoreboards and lower thirds, but there are countdown timers, as well as looking on the far left, a sponsorship ticker that moves between different images, different loops such as the social lower third over here that I used at the start of this video just to spice up your stream even further. And of course I've barely even scratched the surface. If you want you can dive into depth in creating your own overlay using this platform it's actually surprisingly easy and when that video comes out you'll find a link down below. But for now let's actually get to testing something out. In order to use an overlay from here all you need to do is find one that you want to use no matter what it is such as for example a countdown like this title card over here just before a stream, clicking on it, all you need to do is try the overlay and you can immediately start customizing to see exactly what you want. So for this, I'll set maybe, I don't know, zero hours to stream, but 10 minutes sounds pretty good. Simply hitting play starts the timer from whatever you had. And on the customize tab, we can change how things look. For example, I can change the text color and you can immediately see it updates as this is just an HTML or browser window. That's essentially what we'll be dropping into OBS Studio. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping. But of course, if you're using something different, the steps might be a little bit different. For example, I've pulled up OBS Studio here, not the one that I'm currently recording on otherwise well you'd see this going on and in order to add our overlay to this all we need to do is on the overlays.uno website find this icon in the top right and drag this into obs studio just by dropping it we can click yes and immediately our overlay should just resize itself and pop up there we go if you want to control it you can just push your browser window across to a different screen and on the control tab mess with the timer pause it restart it etc which is simple enough to do but of course you have this huge chunky window somewhere on one of your monitors things get even easier if you want to choose to dock this instead so in obs we can head to docs followed by custom browser docs give it a name such as countdown and using this second option over here copy control url which is essentially this page here we can paste it into the url section apply and now we have a obs browser doc that contains all of the settings that we need so if we push this across instead you can see with just this window we can pause the timer hide the overlay entirely all just by playing with this we can dock it somewhere in our actual OBS studio for more easy access. Let's take this to the next level and use a stream deck using the official overlays.uno stream deck plugin. Simply click this button to download it from the Elgato marketplace, install it and open in your stream deck where you'll be able to search for it and drop it onto any one of your buttons. So if I add the control here, all we need to do is enter an Uno token, which we can get from any one of our overlays. For example, the countdown timer. Click the third option in the top right, copy Uno token. 
paste it into your Stream Deck here, and shortly after, settings should load, where we can choose from a couple of options. Simple things like showing and hiding the overlay, do exactly what you think. We can mess with any of the elements on the screen, for example, the timer, we can increase or decrease the time, play, pause, etc. Set a message, which I don't actually know what it does, or press it, and well, that happens when the countdown ends. So I suppose we could speed it up, and as soon as it were to finish, our OBS should say, well, the text at the very end. We can change it to hide the overlay, and assuming we press the button, bam, the overlay should hide in OBS Studio or whatever you're using, as it's just another way to control every overlay. That's essentially what I set up over here. I've set up a bunch of different overlay options, such as showing and hiding the lower thirds, the message in the top left, followed by, on top of this, hiding both of these, showing at the very bottom the socials ticker just to go through everything. It's actually that simple. While you could do all of this from a browser docked in OBS, you can even take it a step further and hovering over the output URL, we can scan this on our phone to go ahead and control it from there, for example. This allows you as a single streamer to have many ways to control your live overlays, get them to react to different things, or you could even give control to someone else, such as a stream moderator, or if you're running a bigger broadcast team, something like that. These can go even further into more advanced overlays, such as counters. This one over here, if we choose to try it, allows us to show something on screen that we can increment or decrement to show wins, losses, etc. On the customized tab, we can give things different names, such as blue and red, customize color, and now we're ready to stick this into something like a tournament broadcast or anything like that. If we choose to drag this into OBS once more, as such, we can reposition it, possibly remove the background color by setting the alpha to zero, changing the title bar color, and now we have a super interesting looking stream counter for whatever you're watching. You can control it from here, for example, or once again, we can copy the token, drop in some more Uno overlay controls, paste in the token, followed by selecting one of the options, such as changing an overlay field to change data that's on the screen, choose a counter, for example, and we can choose to set them to specific values or increment and decrement. I'll set this to add one, and the bottom option over here will set to, for example, minus one from the right hand option. Now, if we look at OBS Studio and start pressing different buttons here, you should see things happen on our screen. That's it. It's that simple. You can customize these to your heart's content pretty much, as this is just an HTML element. You could, if you wanted, get to customizing CSS. If you happen to be just the right kind of nerd, as well, these overlays, or UNOs as they're called here, are just web pages. This means that not only are they live and reactive, but they're also pretty much infinitely scalable. This means that if you're streaming to a mobile audience, for example, or streaming side by side, widescreen and mobile, you can take the same exact overlays, move them across, drop them in OBS, and now you can have copies on both your widescreen or, of course, mobile overlay environment. This means that with just one set of controls, you can control multiple live streams or as many as you want with the same exact information, etc. Pressing the buttons once more, you should see they work pretty much exactly as you'd hope. Now, what happens if you want to do something a bit more advanced, like taking a lower third and make it look exactly how you want? Well, there's a couple of different templates that I'd like to show you. For example, the lower thirds wizards. These allow you to create super good looking lower thirds really quickly. So if I hop into this one and punch in some text, we can click this button over here in order to create completely different slots or presets. If we name this one troubleshoot and add another one called subscribe, for example, if I edit this one, we can put in different text. So something like this, we can just with a click of a button, we can change between different presets really quickly. So if I, for example, remove the bottom entirely, then add another slot and switch to it, you should see that things dynamically adjust as we move between them. This is great, especially if you're moving to something with even more text. This sort of preset ability we can, once again, copy the token for, and in something like our stream deck, paste it in, select previous slot and next slot under the take slots section. We can once again add it to OBS, then we can use our stream deck to just move between different presets or slots entirely. This way you can show exactly what you want when you want at the click of a button on a live stream. Should you wish to be even more advanced with these, you can use something called an API to interact with it pretty much directly. If we instead choose under the overlay content, set overlay content JSON, we're given this whole block of text here. This, pasted into something bigger, allows us to customize all of our options all at once. 
The same goes for the customization JSON, which includes position, color, and everything else you can imagine. All of the controls in this overlay here are sent in one big block of text to the website that we can customize pretty much infinitely. Of course, this may be a bit confusing to work with, but if you want to, for example, take what we have here and keep it, we can copy this JSON or just leave it here. On our next option, we can choose to set customization JSON and we can make it look different. So if I customize it online using the controls over here, say changing the color of everything like this, for example, we can choose a different option, then choose the same customization JSON. And now this text should be different to the one that we had previously. So we could, for example, quickly switch between this style and the style that we had previously, just by pressing these two buttons to send that whole block of text. Speaking of API, one of the things overlays.uno is working for is integrating different APIs into their website. For example, the Twitch API to show text chat and integrate follow accounts or anything like that into live streams. And of course, eventually branching out into other platforms like YouTube API or anything really. This company has been working a ton on this completely free platform and it's amazing to see. Since I was reached out to, there's another 15 overlays that were added, which is huge. Not only that, but it's actually surprisingly easy to create your own, though that's a topic for a completely different video. One of the most advanced ones that I've seen so far is a Google Sheet interaction, which will take this list of players, for example. We should be able to control how this looks or the names that are displayed just by adjusting them in a simple Google Sheet. All of these interact pretty much instantly as it's a responsive platform. This website is compatible with pretty much anything as long as you can add a browser source or a browser overlay, you can drop anything from this website onto it there. And that's pretty much it. What I've shown you here should be more than enough to get started with this. And a couple of things that I'd recommend are probably the packages that apply for different scenarios, such as live broadcasts for a podcast or news stickers, speaking points, etc. There's tons of different packages you can get here that if we choose this one, for example, which is what I used in the intro, you usually have a bunch of different controls that we can mess around with, such as turning these all off, the lower thirds, which you've seen previously, the live bug, which is the text at the top left, as well as a brand logo on the bottom right and a baseline ticker if you want something to move across. Obviously, there's more gaming-centric overlays, more news-centric, more talk show, more podcasts, etc. All the way from introducing different speakers to showing score while you're playing a game, there's almost infinite customizability. Besides that, it's worth a check, especially if you want to spice up your live stream. And if you want to, you'll find a link in the description down below, overlays.uno. It's a super simple website and I've shown you everything you need to know to get started. So let me know what you create down below if you found it super useful. And I'll see you all in the next guide, which should hopefully be how to create your own overlay from scratch, customize it as it's really easy to do. My name's been Troubleshoot. A special thank you once again to overlays.uno for sponsoring this guide and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.